Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about malignant otitis externa. This is a concise presentation for medical students. What is otitis externa? Otitis externa is a common ear infection. It is an inflammation or infection of the external auditory canal, the auricle or both. It is also known as swimmer's ear. In some cases, otitis externa can spread to surrounding tissue including the bones of the jaw and face. In this case, it is referred to as malignant otitis externa. A better term for malignant otitis externa is necrotizing otitis externa since it is not a malignancy or cancer per se. Coming to the etiology of malignant otitis externa. The causative agents for malignant otitis externa are Pseudomonas aerogenesa. It is the most common causative agent of malignant otitis externa. It can also be caused by Staphylococcus aureus. What are the risk factors? Diabetes mellitus, chemotherapy and HIV infection. Basically, immunosuppression is the main risk factor for malignant otitis externa. What are the symptoms of malignant otitis externa? There are quite a few symptoms. Persistent and foul smelling yellow or green discharge from the ear. This is primarily due to Pseudomonas aerogenesa infection. Excruciating ear pain. The ear pain gets worse when moving the head. There will be hearing loss. You can find swollen and red skin around the ear and there will be granulations in the ear canal. Persistent itching will be seen in the ear canal. Other symptoms are fever, difficulty in swallowing, weakness in the facial muscles, loss of voice or laryngitis. Some of the symptoms are because of the spread of the infection to the skull base and jugular foramen causing multiple cranial nerve palsies. The infection can spread anteriorly to the temporomandibular fossa, posteriorly to the mastoid and medially to the middle ear and petrous bone. How do you diagnose a case of malignant otitis externa? Clinical findings are helpful. CT scan shows bony destruction, MRI scan, neurological examination and radionuclide scan. Gallium 67 scan is useful for diagnosis and follow up. Technetium 99 scan is useful only for diagnosis as it remains positive for a year. How do you treat a case of malignant otitis externa? Control of diabetes is essential. Toilet of ear canal can be done. The main mode of treatment is by antibiotics. Gentamicin plus ticarcillin combination is useful. Third generation cephalosporins like ceftriaxone, ceftazidime can be used. Fluoroquinolones like ciprofloxacin, ofloxacin can be used. The antibiotic therapy should be for a duration of 6 to 8 weeks or more. The antibiotics used initially should be effective against Pseudomonas aerogenesa as it is the most common agent involved. Culture and sensitivity of ear discharge should be ordered if the initial antibiotic uh, therapy does not cure the disease. Antibiotic therapy has almost replaced radical surgery and resections. Thank you.